right? Do you think it's cat? Mm, cats are so polite, aren't they? Um, welcome to 30 weeks. Uh, 30 week update. Baby number five. Um, it's late. So excuse me. Um, I had a lot to say. I did. I've been thinking about it. And now my mind is just... So, what's been going on this week? I saw my midwife on Tuesday. I think it's about the third time I've seen her. Um, and she measured my belly and said that I'm... Excuse me a second. Um, she said that I was like right on for like bang on 30 weeks measurement because they measure your uterus bang on 30 weeks and so I was 29 weeks and five days at that point so pretty spot on um, 30 weeks is exciting for me I feel like I asked her um, how far I have to go to be able to birth at Bethlehem and at the birthing centre and you have to be 37 weeks um, which is good because I wasn't sure if it was 37 or 38 so you have to be 37 weeks at least um, before any time before that and you have to go to the hospital so I only have to hold out for seven more weeks so you know it could be sort of any it could be seven weeks it could be 12 weeks really you know that that would be 42 weeks um, so Seven weeks sounds like not long away. Um, it's exciting, but 12 weeks seems like ages. So I'm at that point where I'm kind of like oh, in limbo. Like, yeah, it could be it could be soon and it's exciting or it could be ages and I'm like, I'm ready. Um, so yeah, um, so the midwife. Um, she gave me some forms for blood tests. Uh, you're supposed to get blood tests around 28 weeks. They want some and then again at about 36 weeks. So she said if I hold out, um, she gave me the forms and said if I just hold out another two or three weeks, then I pretty much just have to get one. It's like late for this one and early for the next lot. So um, we, I booked to see her again uh april 3rd which is like four weeks away and um that's a friday so if i get the blood done on the monday of that week then she'll have my results back by then i know it'll say it'll say everything's normal but um my iron's low because it always is um she asked me if i wanted to do the glucose thing or whatever it's called where you drink the yuck sugar drink and then sit for an hour and then get your bloods done and I said uh, if she wasn't fussed about it then I'm not really interested I mean it's checking for diabetes and I'm pretty sure I don't have diabetes um, this cat's looking at me like she wants to play but I don't want to play um, so yeah, well, that was good. Uh, I weighed myself while I was there. Uh, I was just under 80 kgs. And the first weight that's in my book that she writes in was 70. So I put on practically 10 kgs uh, in 30 weeks. I think that's good. I'm not too fussed. Um, I feel like I've, I feel like when I look in the mirror, I've, I look like I've put on more than that, but I'm not I'm not fussed about it. I don't think it's unhealthy weight gain. Um, I think I put on a lot with my first pregnancy, maybe like 20 or 22 kgs or something ridiculous. But in saying that, I was 60-something kgs. I was quite light. So, I mean, I, I think I went up to like 84. I might have been 62 or 63. Um, so, there's that... What else? Oh, something I've been meaning to say for 
the last few weeks and keep forgetting is that the cramps that I kept talking about, how my legs would get cramps in the night, that's eased right off. Um, I do get them every now and then, but nothing like, uh, like there was a point where I was getting them quite bad and really regularly. But yeah, they've eased right off and I can kind of feel it coming on and stop it before it gets bad, whereas before... I don't know if I would I'd be asleep and wake up to it because it got so intense and I'd have to get up and like pace around the room and sometimes that wouldn't even ease it um, what else sleeping is still pretty good but sometimes I get uncomfortable I think it might be depending on what position I sleep in like if I'm in a certain position for a long time um, I start to get a little bit achy and then I'll go to roll over and it will wake me up because um, I'll have a pain or something. It's mostly like my pubic bone or or my back um, on the left side, right at the bottom of my back. Um, so there's that. Uh, we, I made a plan with my neighbor today, my good friend. Um, she's going to take me in. Um, you know, granted she's here and available and everything goes well. She's going to take me in when I go into labor so Jason can stay with the kids. She's do you mind. She's going to stay with me, uh, bring her video camera and whatnot. Um, and I'll probably also text or ring my mum when, when it all starts and uh, her and my other friend may head in, I suppose, depending on the time, whether they make it or not. I don't know. Um... I'm feeling like seven weeks, you know, like I'll probably have to eat my hat and it'll be closer to 12 but or 10. But I'm feeling like seven weeks is good, you know. I, I predicted the seventh, which is eight weeks from now, but I'd be quite happy with the first. I would like it to be May just because Zyla's birthday's in April, but it doesn't really matter, just all my kids... Uh, in different months so far so it'd be cool to keep that going but um yeah I predicted the 7th or the 10th Jason said the 14th or the 18th I believe uh 14th is my nephew's birthday 10th is my brother's um 21st is due date and then there's also 26th which is mine um so yeah, there's a few dates there. Um, oh, my neighbor also asked me today if I'm interested in a baby shower and I kind of thought, nah, to start off with, I'm just going to go check on my, I'm cooking granola and it smells like it might nearly be ready. So I'm just going to pause and go check on that. So hold that thought. Don't let me forget it. Yeah, so as I was saying, my first thought was just like, nah, don't really need a fuss made and I have you know they I had one with my first because it was my first and they buy you baby stuff clothes and whatnot things you might need and um, you know it's it's all nice and maybe necessary I don't know but now by number five you don't really need to I know some people have them with every single baby and stuff but I have, even though it's my first boy, I still have clothes, especially for the first year. I have every enough clothes, more than enough clothes even, I, I would say. I burnt my first load. Wow, it's not too burnt, but a little bit burnt. Um, you know, so I was kind of like, mm, nah, but I mean, it's a nice excuse for everyone to just come together, you know, and have some nice food and chat and stuff and oh that's hot so I said you know I'm not overly fussed either way if she wants to organize it I'm I'm not gonna say no I mean I never do anything for myself it would be nice to just have a little bit of fuss made you know <laughs> I don't know does it sound whoa my 
dough has risen. I'm also making donuts. Jason's gone away. Um, it's going to be another long ramble, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, Jason left a few hours ago. About five o'clock, he's gone. Uh, five hours away to a festival. He's working in the kitchen for the next four days. So today's Thursday. So he's working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then he comes back Monday. So he's gone four nights and pretty much five days. So I don't know what to do with myself. So I'm baking. I'm making granola because I made a big batch for them to take with them. And then I had some for breakfast. And I was like, oh, man, I could do this for breakfast. I'm so bad with breakfast. But I made me... I did up another couple big batches so that I will eat breakfast while he's gone. Um, so yeah, but anyway, back to pregnancy stuff. Um, I got my ball um, to sit on. I'm saying I'm a lot. Um, I'm going to have a baby shower at some point. We have a plan for someone to take me to the birthing centre. Cramps have subsided. Uh, I'm 30 weeks and have established that I only need to go seven more to go to birthing centre. Pretty stoked. I don't know what there's much else to say. Baby's feeling real heavy. Um, oh, that's right. I read you my book. Oh, fine. Week 30. And he moves around a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. It still says that sleeping patterns are opposite to mine but I feel like even when I sit down he's awake but my kids are just active kids you know they're not really sleepers none of them that past the age of two and even now they're awake more than 12 hours out of the day so they sleep less than they're awake no matter how hard I try but yeah he's super active and he feels heavy I feel like he may be a big baby so I'm kind of hoping um, not just for myself because I'm excited and you know eager for him to be here earlier than later but I, I'm hoping for my own sake that uh, he comes earlier because otherwise I think he's going to be a, a big baby okay what's going on your breasts are still getting bigger will they ever stop yes you might be feeling Braxton Hicks Practice contractions now, although most people don't feel them until uh, the last weeks. Um, I don't think I've ever had Braxton Hicks contractions. Proper, proper contractions last for one minute each, come at intervals of five minutes or less, and go on for at least an hour. Then after a while, a baby comes out. So if that happens, you're probably really in labor. You don't say. Okay, this week. In the following three, the baby puts on fat at a greater rate. The skin is still a bit wrinkled, so there's room for the new fat underneath. Languor will start to fall out, although a full head of hair may stay. The eyes are fully open, but it can't be very interesting just watching all that hair floating around. Baby hiccuping starts to get more violent. Haven't had those at all either. Um, this pregnancy, I did have them with other pregnancies. You can feel the little jerks. The baby may be jiggled around by the Braxton Hicks contractions. Weight about 1.3 kgs. So like I read ahead um, because it has these little page blurbs that I've been reading to you guys um, at every week. But then after that it's got like diary. So the lady who's writing it, it's her diary for that week plus information for certain things, right? But I read ahead and I read each week um, when I feel like it. So I've read the weeks multiple times. But I only read the diary and the info once I hit that week. But it's like, uh, I think it's week 34 or 35. It says that um, you should feel the baby move every day from now on, even if it's just one little um, knee wave or you know one little movement you, you'll feel at least one thing every day and I don't get that because like I feel them almost all day every day you know what I mean not if I'm walking around which makes sense but 
when I'm sitting down or lying down or he just is super active so it, it baffles me that some people at this stage will only feel one tiny movement that would do my head in all day you feel nothing and you're waiting do you know what I mean like if I, if I went a whole day without feeling anything by the end of the day I'd be so anxious I'd be wanting to go and hear a heartbeat and even if it's been a little like if I'm sitting down I can feel them right now moving um, you could see probably Um, like, yeah, if I went a little while sitting down, I don't know if you saw that, that was a big one, and there was no movement, then I'd be like poking and prodding to try to get a response because I find it unusual to sit still, even for a little while, and have no movement at all. So yeah, to go a whole day and only have one tiny movement just baffles me. Oh, this video is getting long again. So I'll probably wrap it up. Don't want another 25 minute long video. They did move as soon as I took the camera off. Um, yeah, I've got, I've talked said before that I've got everything set to go backup plans I think like the only thing I really need to do is I would like another sports bra I've already said that I think too and to um wash the cover on the baby car seat and set the straps back down to infant sizing because Kalani's been using it um so we'd have one seat in one car and one in the other. Um, so it's set to Kalani's size. So wash that car seat and set it, set the straps back to infant. That's about all I got to do. But Jason can sort those. I think this batch is cooking quicker. I don't. This oven's temperamental. But, so I better go save them and then get my donuts rolled so that they can rise because it's getting late and I think I'm ready for bed but I've got to let them rise for another half an hour or so and then cook them um, fry them so yeah I think that's about it I think this is a super long video and practically no information so sorry about that just another bunch of rambling but um, hopefully I have more exciting uh, babble next week it's bang on 30 weeks today so I'm um, catching up I'm getting on time and uh, I'll try to be on time again next week and see how we go I'll be able to upload this tomorrow because I'm going into Wi-Fi range so have a good night stay safe and um, you'll see me again soon bye